I, this is just uh, so your exercises to be working on over the next few uh, weeks into months. Um, just a reminder and your progressions as well. Um, so we talked last time particularly about your squat and looking at your single leg squat on this right side. Um, so we talked about using a mirror. So just a reminder, we're thinking about hip, knee and foot and ankle pretty much running in a line and just avoiding that excessive sort of um, glide of the knee that way in that position. So it should look something like that, dropping down. Okay, if you struggle with that, use your other foot. So have about 90% of the weight through the right, just about 10% through the left, just to give you a little bit of balance. Dropping down through range. As you're coming up, you are really thinking about driving up through that glute, that that's the one doing all the work. So that's that one to work on. Next one is one I don't think I gave you last time. Um, but it's a good one to work on. Um, you're going to be lying down like this. You're thinking about the pad of that foot and putting loan through that pad of that foot. So you're going to push down through there. As you push down through there, you will feel a contraction in your calf, in your hamstring, and then into that glute. And that's what we want. So you're thinking about pushing up like that, controlling that lowering down. Push up through there. Not aiming to get massively off the, um, the floor or the bed and control that lowering down. Okay, lovely. Coming on to the side, I think we had you last time doing the clam like that and I think you were finding that easier last time. So we progress to lifting it up. So in this position, lying on your left side, knee nice and bent, right leg nice and straight, hand on your hip to stabilize and what you're going to do is lift that leg up doesn't go up massively further than that in order to get it all the way up here you've got to retract your hip and rotate your hip and that's not what I want so that hand is stabilizing there you're lifting up as far as you can hold for a few seconds slow controlled release to the horizontal quick up hold for a few seconds slow controlled release your progression from that, you will need a glamorous assistant sitting on a chair or a coffee table or something like that. And all you're going to do is just wheel yourself down so that that leg then comes under said chair or coffee table. So you're going to take it as far as you can and then you're going to push into that and use that as like static resistance. So to begin with, aiming for about 50% of how hard you think it, you could push it. And you hold it for a few seconds and control the lower. Up, hold for a few seconds, control the lower. All of this working to strengthen this glute and offload this muscle here that's been doing lots of work. I know last time I also gave you that stretch to do where you hook that right leg behind your left and lean in. By all means, carry on with that. You can also add in an arm raise as well, so you get a nice stretch all the way down. The other one that's quite nice to do is a modification of one of the yoga stretches. Toes together, heels apart, sit back down, stretch forward with the arms, but for you, add in that little bit of side flexion. So take that right hand over to the left, and stretch down like that and you will feel that stretch coming down that right side. Any questions, any concerns, if everything's too easy or too hard, just don't hesitate to get in touch with me, email, text, WhatsApp, all absolutely fine. I will touch base with you uh, and see how you're doing as these next few weeks and months progress, but I'm definitely here if you need me. Do look after yourself, stay safe.